JRPG noob tries out the latest model with software Xenoblade Chronicles 3. How does it stack up to Xenoblade Chronicles 2 in his short time with the game? Tell us into God. Thank you, host Mike. Nice. Uh, so I grabbed this game during the week. I, I was just going to boot it up to try it out. So I have all the Xenoblade games, Xenoblade Chronicles X as well, and Torna even, the physical copy of Torna. So that's the sp- like spin-off DLC for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Anyway, and I wasn't really intending to do much more than just boot it up, make sure I collect my little gold points for having a physical game, you know, see how it plays. And man, I was, I'm getting like hooked into this game, I, like super, super early impressions. Um, but man, I love the story. Like it actually really shocks me given I've played a little bit of the other Xenoblade games and they absolutely didn't click with me at the start. Whereas this game, I don't know, it's really dark, it's different um, and it looks awesome. And so much so, just calling it out, I'm like, okay, like I'm pretty sure I remember Xenoblade Chronicles 2 handheld because I normally play Switch handheld, just sort of looking like ass, right? And I'm like, maybe I've got a bad memory about that because Chronicles 3 looks so good, right? And I was just only playing a handhold. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to boot up uh, Chronicles Definitive Edition. So the first game that got ported to the Switch. And that looked like, it looked pretty rubbish. I think it looks pretty good uh, docked, but it looks pretty rubbish handheld. Then I booted Xenoblade Chronicles 2 on handheld. My God. Like, how did that game go live the way it looks? It's you, so shocking handheld. I, I, th- I think I know where you're going with this is, like, unless you haven't seen it, because uh, Digital Foundry did a whole I analysis I of that stuff. It, yeah, I haven't watched and, it. And yeah, like, they basically compared it the way that it upscales is shits all over Gen- Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And again, like, I haven't played that game. This is just based on their analysis. And you see in that video that they have, it's a good watch. Um, man, they've done a great job with this game. Yeah, it's super impressive. And then, now I'm confronted with this really weird spot where. Should I just play this game? I mean, the games are loosely linked. Like, I, there's some stuff, some spoilery stuff. Supposedly, it's like a deeper link to some of the games that you kind of don't want to know, if you know, because it will spoil it. But I'm, a, I'm sort of a bit torn on the whole thing. I'm like, maybe I will play this game. I feel like this game's almost like a potential game of the year caliber type of game. Uh, wow. Reviewed really well. And, like, I'm really into it. Like, I was shocked because I'm not really the biggest JRPG fan, but... The story is so dark <laughs> and disturbing. It's awesome. I love it. It's like these soldiers, this is right at the start of the game, so it's not really a spoiler, but, mm-hmm. you know, right at the start of the game, you know, it's talking about warring factions and you're playing as this soldier and they all, like, live 10 years and that's it. And then, like, when they hit their 10 years, they basically absorb their soul and, you know, keep on fighting and stuff. It's so fucking disturbing. <laughs> I'm like, this is wow. awesome. I love it. Blade um, vibes. Yeah, so I don't know, Sweeney. You're the you're the JRPG expert on the panel, and you know a little bit about the Xeno series. You haven't played many of them or any of them, but I mean, can I jump into three? Can I just skip the one and two? Look, I cannot, with any you know, like authority, talk about the Xenoblade games at all. But but with your I, authority, from, from <laughs> with my authority, which is completely unfounded. It sounds like you probably can, um, because Unbounded even my ass. Because even the tenuous links, um, you know, like you're gonna get value out of that if you play the other game, sure. Mm. But I think that these games are designed to be friendly for new players, just like a lot of, honestly, like even like the, obviously the Final Fantasy games are generally, you know, disconnected That's outside true. of a That's couple true. of them. Um, you know, the Tales games are the same. With you know, like even for instance, I recently played Tales of Berseria, which is technically actually a connected to another tales game and i i still enjoyed it you know i would have got more out of it which i think we're talking about but it doesn't change the fact that you can play it you know this Mm. is not if we're talking a game that directly picks up off the first game like a golden sun one to golden sun two situation Mm. no i'd never recommend in that situation so go ahead man play it i think it's just my ocd like normally Mm. when you get into these situations where you know it, like Final Fantasy is a good example because Final Fantasy, for the most part, are completely disconnected. Totally it's just like yeah. certain themes or, you know, chocobos and stuff like that. You know, elements, mm. are, but it's not story. Mm. Like Final Fantasy VI, I don't think there's any other Final Fantasy game that touches back onto Final Fantasy VI, right? I can't I mean, think of any off the top of my head. They're spin-offs, but generally they're like non-canon. Yeah, exactly. Stuff, exactly. Yeah, so. 
Whereas this has got like, it's that awkward spot where they've like made it kind of a little bit connected, but not really. Mm. So, but I think you're right. I think if I start with this one, I just got to get past my OCD and then it's like, okay, like it, it'll be fine. Like mm. even when I go, if I go back and play one and two, like I'll go, oh shit, now I get this thing in three. Mm. So yeah, I think I'm going to play this boys. It's, it's. <laughs> Oh, Sweetie, I, I think you'd like it. Sold. Like honestly, I think you'd like it, dude. I know I would like. I'm it. impressed. I'm impressed. I, with this I game. know I would like it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Um, so, I have a question. Yeah, yeah, go on. Related to what you just said about liking the game, and related to what Intigod said about the game looking like ass. I like ass. Where does the expression Jesus. "looks like ass" being a negative thing come from? I don't understand. And is it referring to buttocks or is it referring to a donkey? You, that because is actually either, a, either ones are nice. That's actually I like not donkeys a bad, as well. That's a very good question, Mike. I you went somewhere with that. Yeah, you, you, that was a, that was a roller coaster. That one. That was what you were, you were struggling. That's I don't know. You might be right. Maybe it is more the donkey element. I'd never Maybe thought donkey, about that. But donkeys are cute, so I don't get that angle either. But wait, but an ass isn't Some a donkey, finer. right? It is. Uh, well, it, uh, no, isn't it? But I don't. I don't isn't know the it delineation. Isn't a sterile donkey? Oh, I thought it's if. Uh, I, I can't remember. Now. But yeah, that's a good point. Ass. Um, but yeah, just to close out, an animal the... of the horse family, which is typically smaller than a horse and has longer ears than a brain call. Mm. So is it a donkey or not an ass? Well, an ass is basically a donkey, isn't it? What well, you you're like literally the on Wikipedia. And you're not answering the bloody hoot. question. Well, did you did you search is a donkey an ass? No, I didn't. But if <laughs> I search for image ass, search Google donkey ass. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to search for that. Is a donkey an All right, ass? Can, can we an move on? ass is either a male or female donkey. It took me okay. one Google search. Okay, okay. So Mike's useless. Is it another let's word for, real. for donkey then? All right, come on, let's Mike. Let's. I want to wrap this up. Anyway, let's wrap it up. We'll <coughs> um, we'll do so, some research. Wait, wait, wait. Come back next week. So yeah, yeah, like high level. I would say if people were put off with Xenoblade Chronicles 2 but are thinking of dipping into this game, I'd so far I'd highly recommend checking it out. It seems pretty cool. And it runs way better than Xenoblade, Chron Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So let's jump into what else we've been playing. 